everyone, welcome to Sea Cliff uh, Storytime. And uh, we're continuing with our holiday theme, Turkey Claws. Okay, all right. Remember, we did the Turkey Trouble. All right, so here we go. It starts right here. It looks like the boy and girl are sending their letters off to Santa. And there's our turkey. I, well, he's made a snow, a snow turkey. Thanksgiving was over and turkey was safe. But then he overheard Farmer Jake and his wife talking about what to have for Christmas dinner. Oh no, guess what was on top of the list? Oh no. Oh, so a turkey, not again. But Turkey had an idea. The children had mailed their Christmas wishes to Santa and maybe Turkey could ask Santa for a Christmas wish, a wish that he would not be Christmas dinner. But it was too late to mail his wish, so he would have to go meet up with Santa himself. He arrived at Santa's village. Excuse me, where can I find Santa? No one sees Santa the day before Christmas, said the elf. He's too busy making his list and checking it twice. <gasps> oh, gobble, gobble. Looking around, Turkey had a great idea. What if he didn't look like a turkey? What if he looked like a Christmas tree? Oh, so sure enough, his costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a Christmas tree, almost. Oh, ho, ho, hold it, cried the elf. No turkeys in Santa's village. You have to go back to the farm. How'd you know it was me, said the turkey. Well, trees don't have legs, said the elf. Oh, gobble, gobble. He looked around. Oh, I've got it. A reindeer. A reindeer could get to see Santa. His costume wasn't bad. He looked all, just like a, a reindeer. Almost. Hold your hoofs, cried the elf. No turkeys are allowed in Santa's uh, village. You have to go back to the farm. H how would you tell it was me? Reindeer do not have wings. Oh, okay. He looked around for another idea and candy was being loaded into the sleigh. I got it. Surely a candy cane would be allowed to get near Santa. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a candy cane, almost. Wait a merry minute, cried the elf. Turkeys are not candy canes. Oh no, how did you know it was me? Candy canes don't have beaks. Gobble, gobble, oh no. Turkey looked around and around and just then he saw Mrs. Claus bringing out a plate of cookies. Surely, surely Mrs. Claus could get him in to see Santa. So he dressed up like Mrs. Claus. And his costume wasn't bad. It was, it was, it was, he looked just like Mrs. Claus. Almost. Turkey walked right up to Santa's house and the elf opened the door. Snow way, no turkey gets in here today. How did you recognize me? Mrs. Claus doesn't have feathers, said the elf. Gobble, gobble, I'm almost out of time. I'm never going to get to ask Santa. He looked around desperately for one last idea, and sure enough, he saw it. His costume, where is he, wasn't bad. In fact, it was his best yet. Oh, ring a ring, ding, ding. The elf brought in the box. What's that? A present for me? And out popped, you guessed it, turkey. Merry Christmas. Ha, 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 laughed Santa. What are you doing here, Turkey? Well, Turkey explained his Christmas wish, and Santa smiled. I have just the right disguise for you. And he did. Oh, no, what is he dressed up as? <gasps> He's dressed up as Santa. And what is he giving out? Cookies and gobbler pizza. Oh, just like he did for Turkey Trouble. He's delivering pizza and candy canes. Well, it was Turkey's best, best Christmas ever. They had, look at that, they all had pizza, they had cookies, and everybody was happy, especially, especially Turkey. Pizza on earth, love Turkey. Oh, what a great story, what a great story. You know what? Uh, Cameron and Dan and I were discussing this 
that if we don't have a birthday, and we don't, many times we don't have a birthday to celebrate, we were wondering if maybe you, if you have a birthday coming up, let us know. Let us know and we can help celebrate, all right? But for now, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you, Aaron Purr, and thank you, Portia. Good to have you. And soon, Oberon will be back. He's been exhausted from his Thanksgiving uh, scavenger hunt. And of course, thank you, Cameraman Dan. Remember, I love you all very, very much.